Hey guys, Nick here with uh, Tech Horror Duo. All right, so uh, I'm going to be doing a tutorial on changing the resolution here. Um, so the the goal is to be able to put this to the side, basically make it a, a, a headless computer, so that you don't have to uh, plug a monitor in. Um, of course, initially I had to in order to get Team Viewer up and um, installed on this computer, but this is the result after remoting in with Team Viewer. It uh, creates a small window here. I'm assuming that it does this with um, VNC and such. So this is going to be a little tutorial on how to uh, basically set up um, the resolution on here so that it's much easier for you guys. So um, of course I, I uh, set it up, um, put Team install Team Viewer on it with my credentials and so on, just to, just to make this easier for you guys to see. So first things first, we're going to uh, go into Command to Terminal here. All right, we're going to maximize that real quick. And so what we're going to do here is type in uh, sudo nano boot. I'm oh, sorry, it's uh, forward slash boot forward slash config dot txt. So we're going to hit enter here. And uh, you can see a bunch of information come up. Um, with this, you are going to have to use the uh, up and down arrows to, to move. move. Um, so I um, just want to point out here, this, um, this line here, if you uncomment this, it uh, removes the black border. Uh, so plugging this into my HDTV, I noticed that there was a black border, and um, disabling this act removes that. So if you guys are experiencing anything, you guys can just go ahead and remove this hashtag here, or pound symbol, and it will, uh, it will resolve your issues with that. So let's just uh, keep going. So in order to go down a page, you want to hit Control V. Okay, and then once you hit Control V, you're going to go down frame buffer width and frame buffer height. Right now it's set for 720p. I'm going to go ahead and remove this um, hashtag here. Okay, so this is going to this is going to just change the resolution. Um, you can actually change the 1080p if you'd like. Uh, you can do a 1920 by 1080. Um, it'll give you a bigger display, but we're going to leave it as that for now. So I'm going to go ahead and hit Control O, and this is going to write the file name. So I'm going to go ahead and hit Enter. Wrote 56 lines. Okay. So that's all set. We're just going to close out of this. We're going to restart the Raspberry Pi. Shut down. Reboot. And now we're going to wait for it to come up. Okay, so now the next time it comes up, it's going to be a much bigger display. As you can tell, it's 720p, and um, that's pretty much it. So now you can uh, utilize all this space. Um, so that's it for today. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. I'm hoping to put out more, uh, more tech videos similar to this. Thanks, guys.